Hello guys and welcome to another Timbersaw video. My name is Charlie and uh, today I'm gonna be talking about offensive and defensive ability combos that you're supposed to use. So the offensive spells and combos that you can use, there are basically around four to five of them. So I'm gonna be talking about the combos right now on Timbersaw and how you're supposed to use them correctly. Now there are different types of combos when you need to escape, when you need to do something, when you need to burst someone or when you need to just kite them. Now, the, the combos you're most likely supposed to use are you run up to them, you Shackram, and then you Timber Chain and Whirling Death. So as I said, I Shackram, then I Timber Chain and Whirling Death. That is one combo you're most likely going to use always if you're chasing people. Another video is if someone is chasing you, you can just Timber Chain and Whirling Death. That is your escape ability and that is how you will escape from the enemies if they're chasing you. Another combo you can do is if you want to run away and you feel like you're not going to die from it so you can basically pop your shivas, your chakram on the ground as they're following you like this Let's say someone is following you like this Pop your shiva, you have your chakram down and then you timber chain and use the chakram and your whirling death together Now this is the best way to do damage if the enemies are following you So you chakram under yourself and the enemies are following you, you shivas and then you go away They will be extremely slowed by the shivas and your chakram some kiting stuff if someone is following you is you can just throw down your chakram just run around him you can even timber chain like this and go through him you can even just keep running around your chakram as well some other stuff you can do is just to timber chain and sh chakram if you're close to a tree so you just timber chain and chakram as you timber chain and chakram close to a tree you will do pure damage from whirling death so remember to always go close to a tree to use whirling death because it does a lot of more damage now remember you can also combine abilities when you're doing this so for example you can timber chain and you can shivas and you will have really good vision on the entire way you can also blink dagger when you timber chain so by doing this you can basically timber chain here and you can blink so what i did there is i basically blink as i timber chain so i timber chain first to the tree and then I blink. It might take some practice to do this before you do it correctly, but it's very efficient to do it. You can even do this like, you can blink to this tree. If you just want to come back, you can basically just do this. See what I did there? So what I said is you can, for example, put the chakram here and you can timber chain and do that. Remember, when you get your Aghanim Scepter as well, it's gonna be a lot harder to play because you're gonna have to control two Chakrams and you have obviously one more button to click. This might be hard for you in the start, so if you're not used to playing with Aghanim, try it in custom lobby first because it might be hard in a real game. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video and I hope you've learned about the abilities and how to combo. Remember to practice this in your lobbies because it might be hard on your first Timbersaw games. So thank you for watching and please leave a comment. If you don't like anything, please just say it to me.